Hey everybody, Sean here, Nerd Dad Extraordinaire, here to talk about probably my least favorite class that I've taken so far from WGU, which is D216 Business Law for Accountants. Overall, the course is structured fairly well for stuff that you're going to want to know working as an accountant in the field. Goes over things like um, intellectual property, contracts, sales and leases, creditors, debtors, bankruptcy, forms of business, agency, and uh, consumer protection, investor protection, and corporate governance. Now, let me just say, like, right out the gate, um, I'm the type of person I like, uh, I guess, the application of law, not necessarily like learning legal concepts. Like, I understand that you need to learn the concepts before you can apply it, but it doesn't mean that I enjoy learning the concepts still. I still prefer the application. Because, you know, I, I have an actual, like, case that I can apply it to, or, like, I'm actually trying to apply it to an actual situation that I'm dealing with. When you learn concepts, you learn cases. Like, there's, there's cases that are listed in the text, um, that you can read over. Um, if you're the type of person that likes to read cases and like the outcomes and stuff, like you'll like it. But for me, it's I, it's different from looking at a current situation and trying to apply it to the current situation and just learning about how a case went in the past. And some of the cases just weren't very relevant to like what I see in my area. Like I know about intellectual property mostly because I've worked. I've uh, been around YouTube enough to know that creators deal with it a lot. But I know of no intellectual property cases in my area. That's just an example. I personally did not like this class very much at all. Um, mostly because... And this is just as of filming today, which is 524, uh, May 24th. There, um, just as of today... Currently, D216, which is the new version of this class, did not have the resources that the previous version of this class did. The previous version of this class had like tons of cohorts for every section, and it seems like they changed some of the material for the course, so there's not cohorts for certain sections. I think there was four cohorts that were recorded specifically for D216 and just the textbook. And the textbook is very dry, has a lot of case law in it, has a lot of definitions in it, and just like, you know, there's no pictures. There's very few videos. There's like, there's something called whiteboard videos, but those were like a minute each and they only explain like one concept out of the text instead of like it being a lecture. Yeah, just not a lot of resources for it. My recommendation up front, if you are taking the course at any time in the near future, they probably still won't have all the cohorts recorded, probably still won't have as many resources. My recommendation is to reach out to the course instructors and ask them to send you um, resources from the previous version of the, of the course. I had Eileen Meyer and John Prince, they both sent me um, resources from the previous version of the course and they still corresponded to a lot that was in the text and um, they said that there's some stuff that you're not going to get out of it like some stuff just isn't in this current version of the course that was in the previous version um, and they just encouraged me to read through the text which I didn't like as much but yeah they'll send you emails with links that you could um, access the old materials for full transparency, it took me 44 days to get through this class. Maybe that's why I haven't been uploading very much. It, I have been on this class for a really long time. Um, I don't really have anyone to blame but myself for that. Um, we got pretty busy just personally. Like We um, were getting some renovation work done in our house. Um, my son's like getting ready to start kindergarten and my uh, my daughter turned one and just like all this stuff happened kind of all at once and um, we took a couple family trips because you know it got warm around here in Idaho it stopped being so cold um, 
Yeah. Mostly my fault, and because I just, I didn't enjoy the material. I, I really wish it did, but I didn't like it. It was dry. It was very conceptual. Um, yeah, just not for me. I'm trying to find a good way to, like, set up my camera. It's not going very good. All in all, I don't feel like the pre-assessment and the OA aligned super well. I felt like the OA that I took was more in-depth than the pre-assessment. I even went through all the pre-assessment questions and like tried to figure out why I got certain things right and why I got certain things wrong, and I still felt like there were questions on the OA that I was like, I have no idea what that means at all. And by the time I got to the last section about like investor protection, borrower protection, corporate governance, I was I was just done. I'd been in the course for over a month and I just kind of threw my hands up in the air and was like, you know what, whatever happens, happens. I'm going to take the pre-assessment. I passed the pre-assessment, went through the questions on the pre-assessment and was like, I was just like, you know, whatever happens, happens. And I took the final tonight. It's a Monday. Uh, which I normally don't do. I try to take my finals on Saturday when I like have time to like adequately prepare But I studied for like an hour tonight. and was like I just need to get this done Also another thing I kind of forgot to mention earlier. I was in the course for about three weeks And I was just reading the textbook before I was like dude. There's got to be something else There's got to be more resources than these four cohorts like there's got to be more and that's when I sent the email to Eileen Meyer, which was my course instructor, and that's when they sent me the um, the previous materials. Anyway, don't be like me. Don't wait so long to ask for help. So that's it. That's D216, Business Law for Accountants. Um, it took me way, way too long to get through this course. Um, I knew that my projections, I knew deep down that my projections for what I was going to be able to do this term was just not, not accurate for me. Um, I was hoping I could get each class done in two weeks, and in my first term I was able to do several courses in two weeks or less, and I think it's because they were the basic core business classes, um, you know, they're things that I've experienced just being in the business world, so they weren't super difficult. But now I'm getting into like the upper division courses, and they just take a lot more effort and a lot more thought on my, my part, because I haven't done them before. I'm there. It's new material. Next for me is D103 Intermediate Accounting 1. I'm actually super exciting, for, uh, super excited for this course. Uh, it's, you know, what I want to do. It's what why I need to go to school to finish my bachelor's degree. Um, and it's ultimately the meat and potatoes of the program for me. As always, if you have any questions, reach out to me via the comments or my email, which I think I'll link below. Um, I might not, because I've been getting some, like, people have been trying to hack, like, my PlayStation and Steam accounts and stuff, and I wonder, I wonder if that has something to do with it, but I don't know. But yeah, reach out to me if you have questions in the comments. Um, if you want to chat, you can find me on LinkedIn. I will give you that link down below if you want to add me on LinkedIn. Um, I'm always happy to co uh, to connect with other aspiring accountants, current accountants, people who aspire to be accountants someday in the future who might go through the program, uh, program people who are in the program who have never done accounting before, whatever. If you're interested in the profession, I would be happy to, to connect with you and uh, I could give you career advice or just, you know, from someone who's a little bit further ahead than someone who's never done it before, I'd be happy to offer my insight and perspective. Anyway, this nerd dad is out of here and we will see you next time. Hopefully it won't be 44 days from today, but you never know. Peace!